Nine o'clock in downtown Columbia. John Lane with a look at the latest in local news at the hour. Now in the weather situation, it is shaping up for the better. We've gotten some rain that we have been needing, and we've also experienced some cooler temperatures, which is a relief from the heat wave that we was having last week. Temperatures climbing into the hundreds last week, only into the 90s today and low 90s at that. Later on this week, they're saying even low 60s for overnight lows. We'll have a complete look at the forecast following this news. In the news on this Monday evening, authorities charged today the mother of the baby found in the Duck River last week with criminally negligent homicide and abusive corpse. The woman was identified as Deborah Tora Pye of Anderson Avenue of Columbia. Laboratory tests confirmed the infant died of drowning and being delivered in a toilet bowl. Bond for Pye was set at $5,000 by Judge Ed Workman. Now, there's a lot of talk about a state income tax to fund a major revamp of the state education system. House Finance Committee Chairman John Bragg is calling for a 3 to 3.5 percent income tax to raise money for education. Representative J.B. Napier of Columbia said it might be a high-profile issue in the upcoming legislature. A lot of emphasis on the educational program and the funding package to fund the educational program. Uh, there are some alternatives. Uh, uh, eliminating some tax exemptions would be number one. Number two would be a state income tax. Uh, John Bragg, uh, my friend from Murfreesboro, has long been an advocate of a income tax. Uh, his philosophy is, you know, if we uh, have a small income tax, maybe of three to four percent, we could roll back the sales tax, which is the second highest in the nation. And uh, it'll be a high-profile issue in the upcoming uh, legislature. Napier said he would uh, want to look at all the sources of revenue before deciding whether or not to support the tax. I would want to see uh, what the program is and what the funding package might be, how much it might cost, and uh, look at all the sources before I really uh, voiced an opinion on on. On, on that situation. The McWhorter administration says it's too early to discuss how to fund the education package, but his opponent, Republican Dwight Henry, says the governor is planning the largest tax increase in the history of the state. Now, the first Saturn automobiles will be ready for sale on October 25th and available at between 30 and 35 dealerships here in Tennessee. Officials say about 400 cars have already come off the production line and Saturn will begin shipping them from the Spring Hill plant next month. Each of the dealerships across the state will have an inventory of about 75 cars when they become available for sale. Saturn officials say details and warranties and prices won't be available until later. The bulk of the cars are expected to be priced in the ten dollars to $12,000 range. Saturn expects to have 80 dealers with 100 stores by late spring and about 125 dealers in 100 market areas by the end of next model's year. The only Middle Tennessee dealer named is Nelson Bowers, who will open a dealership on Gallatin Road in Nashville. Now, despite sporadic thunder showers the past several days, the Columbia Fire Department is continuing its ban against open burning. Fire Chief Wayne Hickman says it will take a considerable amount of rainfall before the ban is lifted. We are still imposing our no burning restriction for the city of Columbia. Uh, as you know, the Weather Bureau is not forecasting or predicting any measurable rainfall any time in the immediate future and it's going to take considerable amount of rainfall to correct our dry situation that we have right now so we are asking that no outside burning whatsoever be done within the city of columbia there may be some occasions where we will come and look and do some uh control burn if we have to but uh, at this time it's too dangerous and ground conditions are just not suitable for burning outside. Even though there has been a break in the hot, humid weather, Tennessee Valley Authority says it broke several power output records last week. Well, after one week in office, County Executive Sam Kennedy says the biggest problem he sees in the coordination of efforts of various county agencies to formulate long-range plans. I, I think the, the largest problem will be the question of coordination of, of efforts of, of various county, county agencies, you, you have to work on uh, persuasion, you have no authority to, you know, tell
help a lot of people to do that, to get coordination between uh, the various uh, departments that I have some control over, those that are controlled by elected officials and, and the county commission to formulate some uh, longer-range plans than we currently have. Kennedy added that he has enjoyed his first week on the job and he has spent a lot of time becoming familiar with various county departments. Murray County Chamber of Commerce coffee program is sent for Wednesday morning at 9.30. This month's program will be held at the Polk Home and is sponsored by the Polk Memorial Association. A Murray County agency is among eight programs in seven Middle Tennessee counties receiving part of a $1.2 million effort in the U.S. Justice Department grants, according to U.S. Congressman Bart Gordon. Gordon said the grants from the U.S. Crime Victims Fund will go to state Tennessee to support state and local agencies that provide services to crime victims and their families. In Murray County, the Exchange Club Center for the Prevention of Child Abuse in Middle Tennessee received $18,000. Gordon said these grants are a way of federal governments to not only make criminals pay for their offense, but also return something to society as well. Nice. More than 20 local, state, and federal agencies to discuss their issues of services, opportunities, and benefits for older adults September 17th during their Senior Information Fair at the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank in Columbia. The agencies will be available to counsel seniors on a range of topics vital to older Americans. The bank's main office lobby will be converted into an exhibition hall from 2.30 till 5 p.m. F&M Chairman Virgil Moore, Jr. said the Seniors Information Fair will be open to everyone and is intended to help seniors make decisions that will make their lives more comfortable and secure. Murray, Ohio Manufacturing was recognized as the best supplier of lawn and garden equipment in a national poll of retailers by Discount Store News. Lawrenceburg's Murray, Ohio plant received the award because of its performance in the areas of product line, order and delivery systems, marketing support, and service after sales. Under the best of circumstances, finding a job is one of the toughest things to do in life, no doubt. This is especially true if you have little or no education. The Job Training Partnership Act may be able to assist you in finding a job and preparing you with the necessary skills needed in today's job market. The JTPA offers GED preparation and literacy training as well. Susie Pruitt says many people believe they are unable to read, but oftentimes it's because they have never had the opportunity. Well, some of the older students, I think, <clears throat> when they were in school, maybe they were a little bit slow at learning to read, and they got the idea that they weren't very smart and they weren't intelligent. I know a lot of our folks come and they say, I have a learning disability, and they've heard that word. They've heard it on television, they've heard it, and they don't really know what a learning disability is, but they'll say, I've got one. I know I have to have one because I don't know how to read. And they may have had to quit school in the third grade because of money problems in their family and never had the chance to learn to read. And it's not they can't, it's just they never had the opportunity. If you have questions concerning the JTPA, call them at 388-1033. It's eight minutes past nine. We note these items with regret on the local scene this evening. Mr. J.D. Stanfill, 72, resident of the Santa Fe Pike, husband of Sarah Walter Stanfill, died Sunday at St. Thomas Hospital in Nashville. Services will be conducted Tuesday at 2 in the chapel of the Williams Columbia Funeral Home burial in the Knob Creek Cemetery. Mr. George M. Jack Armstrong, Jr., 37, a resident of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and son of George M. and Patricia Wade Armstrong of Columbia, died Sunday in Baton Rouge. Graveside services for Mr. Armstrong will be conducted Wednesday at 4 o'clock at the Zion Churchyard. The family will visit with friends at the Zion Presbyterian Church following the services. Oaks and Nichols Funeral Home will be in charge of the local arrangements. Mr. Donald Wayne Brimer, 46, a resident of Franklin and native of the Cullioca community, died Sunday. Funeral services for Mr. Brimer will be conducted Tuesday at 2.30 at Oaks and Nichols Funeral Home, burial in the Wilkes Cemetery at Cullioca. Mr. Paul Lindsay, 76, a resident of Hickman Street, died Sunday at Murray Regional Hospital. Services for Mr. Lindsay will be conducted Tuesday at 1 at Oaks and Nichols Funeral Home, burial in the Polk Memorial Gardens. Mr. Lonnie Sanders Ackeson, 87, retired from Union Carbide, died Monday at Bel Air Healthcare following an extended illness. Services for Mr. Ackeson will be conducted Tuesday at 1130 at Oaks and Nichols Funeral Home Burial in the Lawrence County Memorial Gardens. Mr. T.N. Flanagan, 75, retired parts manager at Adwell Ford Motor Company in Columbia and resident of 8th Avenue, died Monday at Murray Regional Hospital following an extended illness. Services for Mr. Flanagan will be conducted Tuesday at 4 at the Oaks and Nichols Funeral Home Burial in the Rose Hill Cemetery. Let's take a look at our WMCP weather. Scattered thunderstorms tonight, a 30% chance of those, low down to about 68. Scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, warm and humid with a high near 90. Chance of rain tomorrow is at 40%.
Tomorrow night and Wednesday, continued warm and humid with a chance of thunderstorms. Low tomorrow night near 70 and Wednesday's high around 88. Your chance of rain is 30% each period. Currently in downtown Columbia, it is mostly cloudy, 71 degrees. This has been a look at the latest of the local news at the hour. Reporting for WMCP News, I'm John Lane. Join Mike Williams at 7 and 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for our next comprehensive look at all your news. Ten minutes after nine, time for Paul Harvey's rest of the story. Hello, Americans. I'm Paul Harvey. You know what the news is. And now you know the rest of the story. Hey, listen for Paul Harvey. And the rest of the story comes your way each and every evening following our 9 o'clock news. It's only right here, though, on 1280 WMCP Columbia. The music straight ahead from Shenandoah. WMCP. 1280 WMCP, Shenandoah, next to you, sitting next to me. Wonderful. Glad you're sitting next to me in the radio on this Monday. It's John Lane to do it to it for you till midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having us along. Play a little Mark Colley by request for South Columbia. Look, start everything from the home of the hits, 1280 WMCP. Looks like she's found another Looks aren't everything Twelve eighty WMCP Clint Black and Nothing's News. John Lane at twenty four after nine. Look at the forecast. It's gonna be scattered thunderstorms tonight. 68 for the low. Scattered showers tomorrow, high near 90. Scattered showers tomorrow night and Wednesday as well. Tomorrow night's low near 70. Wednesday's high up to 88. Currently downtown, it's mostly cloudy and 70 degrees with restless hearts. Nobody could love anybody like she loved me. With studios located atop the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank Building, WMCP, Columbia. Hi, y'all. It's 930 with John Lane. The most music at night, more so than anybody else, all the way till midnight. And here comes Miss Mary Chiffin Carpenter. George Strait at WMCP, love without end. Amen, brother. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 25 before 10 now. 935, Lotto Car Ride. My heart is set on you, baby. I've made my mind up today. Club 80 WMCP, Smoky Mountain Rain, Ronnie Mills Sound. About 19 in front of 10 now, doing an old Mickey and Sylvia Rock classic, Country Five. Kenny and Dolly, Love is Strange at MCP. Sometimes late at night, if tomorrow never comes. 1280 WMCB, a pretty tune there from Garth. Garth Brooks, tomorrow never comes. You know, I guess uh, when he was growing up, he probably hated having the name Garth, you know? But, uh, boy, does it ever pay off when you become a megastar like that. I wonder if uh, Michael Jackson ever got ridiculed for being called Michael. Michael, he's so special. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, 9 away from 10. I shouldn't say that, should I? Here's a look at our WMCP weather. Scattered storms tonight, low about 68. Tomorrow, scattered showers, warm and humid, high of about 90. Tomorrow night, continued warm and humid. Slight chance more thunderstorms, low 70. And then Wednesday, continued warm and humid. Another chance of thunderstorms Wednesday as well, and the high around 88. Currently in downtown, we're still cloudy in 71 with Bailey and the boys and old hearts. Oh, hearts. Oh. It's Exile at WMCP. It'll be me. It'll be me. As always. Oh, it'll be me. 
I got a 55-minute music marathon for you at the uh, 10 o'clock hour, so hang on for that. Uh, 11 o'clock hour, we'll have a 56-minute music marathon. It's the most music at night. Nobody offers you more music tonight at night, that is. Nobody. I dare you to go somewhere else and try. You know, those other guys just can't do it. We're 1280 WMCP with a Desert Rose Band. Be a believer in the story of love. Be a believer in the story of love. With studios located atop the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank building. WMCP, Columbia. Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Linda Moore. Linda Moore, ABC News. Take a look at our WMCP weather at 10.04. Scattered thunderstorms tonight. Low down to about 68 degrees. Chance of rain at 30%. Scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. Your daytime high up to 90. Chance of rain tomorrow will be 40%. Continued warm and humid tomorrow night with a 30% chance of thunderstorms. Low tomorrow night, 70 degrees. And continued warm and humid with a chance of thunderstorms again on Wednesday with a 30% chance of those. And th Wednesday's high of about 88 degrees. Currently in downtown Columbia, we're looking pretty good. Cloudy and 70 degrees. Southern bells are ringing. Southern bells are ringing. Southern bells are singing. Twelve eighty WMCP Shenandoah. Two dozen roses. 11 after 10 with the most music at night. This hour, we're rolling a 55-minute music marathon. Here's a sweet song from a nice group. This is Atlanta, my sweet-eyed Georgia girl. From the home of the hits, WMCP. There are those who spend a lifetime WMCP, hello, can you hear me? It's Todd Lane on the air with you on a Monday night doing that nighttime thing and the most music involved in it for you. 18 after 10. Here's Reckless Heart, a little Southern Pacific music for Mount Pleasant on a Monday. Walking through a morning afternoon. 1280 WMCP, Southern Pacific, Reckless Heart, 21 after 10. Look at the radar weather, scattered showers in and about the area tonight. Low down to 68, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, up near about 90 for your daytime high. Currently in downtown Columbia, 70 degrees. We've remained at 70 for the past four or five hours, just haven't really budged. Here's Dan Seals. You still move me from the home of your favorite country. 1280 WMCP. I've often wondered. Studios located atop the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank building. WMCP, Columbia. Hi, it's 1030 with John Lay. The most music at night till midnight tonight. And here comes Hank Jr. WMCP by far one of the better harmonizing groups in country music. Restless Hearts, the bluest eyes in Texas. At 22, away from the 11 o'clock hour, John Lane involved in a 55-minute music marathon. Why don't you make yourself involved in it by calling this number? 388-3241. We'll get your favorite song on the radio. And this is, of course, my good friend Mac McAnally down the road. When I was
1280 WMCP, the O'Kane's won that one a special thing, true love. Nowadays, that is hard to come by. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to tell you. <laughs> 17 in front of 11 o'clock. Got the best in country going for you, a little rocker from Holly Dunn. WMCP, one of the rottiest bands in country. Sawyer Brown, a step of that step at about uh, 11 now before 11 o'clock. John Lane to you on a Monday night, sending this one out to all you rap fans. Country style, country rap, Bellamy Brothers at WMCP. WMCP. WMCP, Glenn Campbell, talking about that sunflower. 56-minute music marathon is straight ahead in the 11 o'clock hour. You hang on for that. Plus, your favorites are always welcome at 388-3241. That is your full-time request line. Twelve eighty WMCP. Eddie Raven and I could use another you. It's coming up on eleven o'clock. ABC News is next. Plus, I'll have a look at the weather and fifty-six minute music marathon straight ahead. With studios located atop the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank building, WMCP Columbia. The fourth plane load of Americans freed by Iraq flew home to the United States late Monday. <laughs> Make a big difference. Do a little something from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's 11.03. Let's take a look at that WMCP weather. Going to be widely scattered showers overnight tonight. Low down about 68 degrees. Chance of rain is only 20%. Scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, 40% chance. Warm and humid. High tomorrow, 90. Tomorrow night, continue warm and humid with a chance of thunderstorms. Low 70. And then continue warm and humid on Wednesday as well. And a slight chance of thunderstorms Wednesday and a high of only 88. Currently in downtown Columbia... Mostly cloudy. 70 degrees with T. Graham Brown. A moon shadow road as we start off a 56 minute music marathon on WMCP. All day Friday, out on moon shadow road. Where we all used to go. 1280 WMCP, latest from T. Graham Brown off the full time request line. 388 3241. Thanks for the call. This one goes out to Mount Pleasant tonight. It's the Pirates of the Mississippi. WMCP, T.G. Shepard, smooth sailing, John Lane sailing through 56 minutes of your continuous contract favorites on a Monday night. Appreciate you listening tonight. We'll have an update on the Monday night football score right after Highway 101 and somewhere tonight. Somewhere tonight. 11.15 on a Monday night. I was just checking the uh, scoreboard from ABC Sports on the Monday night football deal. It's uh, the Saints and the 49ers going at it tonight. And, uh, well, just a few moments ago, as a matter of fact, the uh, Saints were on top by, uh, let's see, two points. I believe it was uh, 12 to 10 on top of uh, San Francisco, the Saints were. And then San Francisco kicked a field goal with, like, uh, about uh, 30 seconds left to go in the game and just barely made the field goal, but that's enough to put the uh, 49ers on top of the Saints tonight. By a score of, you got it. They beat them 13 to 12. Heartbreaker for 
New Orleans tonight. But, uh, you know, lucky shot for the 49ers. Joe Montana and his boys pulled it together tonight and done it up for you, you know. That is a final score in Monday Night Football. Back to the music, Carlene Carter. I fell in love at MCP. Twelve eighty WMCP. Have you ever seen that video? Oh, sweet sexy thing, Carlene Carter. I fell in love. Twenty after eleven. Look at the radar weather. Going to be widely scattered showers possible overnight tonight. Sixty-eight for the low. Scattered showers, warm, humid tomorrow. Up to ninety for your daytime high. Continue warm next couple of days too. Slight chance of rain both Tuesday night and Wednesday. And the low Tuesday night, seventy, and a high of eighty-eight on Wednesday. Downtown right now, it's partly cloudy and sixty-nine. You may go to Paris, France, every step of the way. Twelve eighty WMCP, the Bellamy Brothers. I could be persuaded. It's coming up on twenty six after eleven now. Late night with John Lane. The most music and Ike rolls on. Steve Warner and I got dreams at MCP. Studios located atop the First Farmers and Merchants National Bank Building, WMCP, Columbia. Hello, it's John Lane, 1130. How you doing on this Monday? Music and I till midnight and Kathy Matea and Tim O'Brien. WMCP, that is the girls next door, and how about us? An old classic done originally by Champagne, although they changed it into a country tune and done a heck of a job there. Here's Exile, She's Gonna Love Me Yet. It's on 1280 WMCP. When she says she doesn't love me, she's gonna love me. Twelve eighty WMCP, Miss Reba and UI. That is off her brand new album, Rumor Has It. She's basically looking just like Reba always does on that album, with the exception of the front cover of that album. Looks kind of like a nun with a hat on. Weird. Anyway, let's look at the weather forecast before we get out of here at uh, midnight tonight. Going to be uh, scattered showers before morning. Overnight low about 68 degrees. Scattered showers again tomorrow. Daytime high later on tomorrow about 90 degrees. And continue warm, humid. Slight chance of thunderstorms tomorrow night and Wednesday. A uh, little tomorrow night 70. And Wednesday's high of about 88 degrees. Currently in downtown Columbia, our temperature remains at about 19 before midnight at 69 degrees. Here's Alan Jackson. Walnut, your home of the hits. 1280 WMCP. Excuse me. Twelve eighty WMCP, Travis Trent. Words of wisdom from Travis there. You were right all along. Help me to hold on. That's going to wrap it up for John Lane. It's been fun, but i got to run. We're about 11 before midnight. 
Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'll see you back late night tomorrow night. All right, until then, be good. Be good at it. Take care of yourselves. Come 9 o'clock, I'll talk to you again. All right? Good night, y'all. Here's Doug Stone. I say the night you left me. At this time, WMCP Radio concludes another day of broadcasting activities.